is going to be a reading for the sign of Capricorn. One second. Okay, sorry about that Capricorn. <laughs> Um, if you're new to my channel, just so you know, all of my readings are timeless. I had to pause it. Somebody knocked on the door. And then there was an ambulance going by. and There was a siren. So I was like, Spirit, can you not, please? Anyways, whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All of my readings are timeless. If you're a past subscriber, welcome back. This reading is going to be a love reading for Capricorn. I think I already said that. If you hear any background noise, I have two of my children in here with me. <laughs> they are um, quietly playing because it, it's a long story, but I'm not going to get into it. Um, because if I do, I'm going to get <laughs> triggered again. So, okay, here we go. Um, I have my Angels and Ancestors deck that I'm going to use for your spirit message. Excuse me, my Rider Waite for Tarot. Light Sears for Tarot. This is the Love, um, Love deck. That's what it's called. Couldn't remember what it was called earlier when I was doing Gemini's. This is for your shadows, and I have uh, the Who Oracle for some character traits. Let's just rush right in. Um, Capricorn, reading out for Capricorn. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Reading now for Capricorn. Four cards for Capricorn, please. My phone is charging, so. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry about that, Capricorn. All right, reading now for Capricorn. What does Capricorn want to know? This deck is not wanting to shuffle at all. Sorry, I keep adjusting my camera, but. Capricorn, reading now for Capricorn. What do we got for Capricorn, please? <clears throat> That's better. Ooh, my ears all of a sudden got really itchy. Okay, four cards for Capricorn from this deck, please, spirits. Four cards for Capricorn, please. Why is it blinking like that? It's weird. All right, first card off the bat. We got a major arcana. We got the Hermit. So most of you Capricorns are not wanting to do anything in regards to your love life. We got a side energy card, Seven of Swords. Oh, there it is. And there's the reason why. It was just 0303 on my camera. So the reason why just popped right out was the side energy. The energy of someone lying and being manipulative. Wow, you also got the hangs man. This is already starting out to be a really good reading. We have two major arcana, arcana back to back. This came out as a side energy that is sort of... Okay, so you know how when I'm shuffling and a card flies out, I call it a side energy card. This is a side energy card that came out. It is the energy that is surrounding this whole entire reading, okay? That's why I put them on the side and I call them side energy. It's the energy that is covering this whole reading. And the card that we got is Seven of Swords, which is an energy of manipulation and lies. So everything in your love life is sort of on pause right now, Capricorn. You want to be alone because... Um, and the reason I say everything is on pause because we got the hanged man. It's just this energy of sort of being still, meditating, trying to find out who you are, enlightening yourself. Um, and it's because of this whole seven of swords energy. Somebody was dishonest with you, Capricorn, and you weren't expecting, you weren't expecting that. Last card. Queen of Wands. Okay, so we also have two cards here of fire energy. We have Three of Wands and Queen of Wands. So either this is your energy or partner's energy. Um, it is two cards of a divine feminine. Okay, so let me just show you these cards. So this is the Hermit card. 
which shows me this energy. Both of these cards right here, right here, both of them, the Haynes Man and the Hermit represent enlightenment. So I see you really, really right now, Capricorn, working on yourself, okay? The Haynes Man also represents everything being on hold. I mean, literally, they're hanging upside down. It's they're they're suspended in time it's the timeline is on pause you know they're literally hanging upside down to try to see things from a different perspective maybe because the perspective that they're using right now is not working out for them so and then we have three of wands and queen of wands so this is very fiery type energy you could be dealing with the fire sign um I, mean, I don't know. I mean, that that could have been the energy of the person. The Seven of Swords energy. Doesn't feel like it, though. It's really weird. So, somebody did lie to you, but it, it doesn't feel like this fire sign energy. So, um, three could be an energy of, like, third party as well. So, hold on one second. Okay, so Three of Wands could be an energy of, like I said, third party energy by third party, you know, means like maybe they lied to you about someone that was in their life. They lied about being single and they weren't or they were married. I don't know. I, I don't know how this energy is going to fit in, but Three of Wands can represent that because anytime there's a number of three, it represents three of something. So it's like a triangle. It's like one person here, one person here, one person here. It's like the energy is not stable, if that makes sense. Um, three of Wands also represents in your love life, like looking out at different scenarios, um, trying to decide what it is that you want in regards to your love life. Um, it's sort of planning for the future in regards to like, so say, for example, you were in a relationship with someone and the three of wand cards gets pulled. It's because you're trying to figure out a future with this person. Um, and this, the, the three of wands came out right next to the queen of wands. They came out together back to back. So, you know, some of you could be planning a future. You okay, buddy? Some of you could be planning a future. Sorry about the background noise. With a fire sign. Um... So the Queen of Wands is is about, you know, it's it's a divine feminine energy. Um, it doesn't have to be a feminine, but that's just the energy field around this um, around this reading. Um, and the Queen of Wands would be someone who is very passionate, um, independent, seductive. You know, the Queen of Wands is literally the most seductive card in the deck. So this could be your energy or your person's energy. Put it where it fits in. Um, but that's that's what we're dealing with right now. So let me pull some more cards and see if we can get some more answers to what's going on. I mean, they're not even showing me, you know, single um, or, you know, those of you in a kind of relationship. Like, that's that's all they're giving me. They're not... You're not, they're not showing me anything else. So if that makes sense. Oops. All right. Can we get four more cards for Capricorn, please? So basically spirit is being very vague. Four more cards, please. What else can we know about Capricorn? And their love life, please. Okay, so right off the bat, we have two cards. There's this energy of spying. We need two more cards. Wow, okay. We have... <laughs> we have two more major arcana, Capricorn. So you guys are going through some heavy shifting right now. Last card, please. You guys are... You guys are going through some massive shifting in regards to your love life. Like, it is it is moving. Shit is moving for you. 
right now. We have the Page of Cups, energy of someone spying on you, watching you. So this, I, I don't know if it's the person that was manipulative and was doing stuff behind your back that they shouldn't have been or it doesn't even necessarily have to be that it could be that they were lying to themselves about about how they felt about you um and i think honestly that could be what it is because we also have the chariot here which is the energy of like trying to control yourself trying to like hold on and rein in something like you know like the most chariots um cards it's like the a, ma a divine masculine holding on to these two horses like really tight and like even though he's got the horses under control, the horses at any time could take over and then this person would have to rein them back in. So it's this energy of, yes, I have the horses under control right now. I'm controlling myself. But how long can I hold on to these emotions before they're just going to run away with me, you know? So, whew. Take that out, resonates. And that, this chariot card came out right next to the emperor. So the emperor is the energy of someone who's normally very stoic. They have their shit together. They're very in control of their emotions, but not for long. Look at this. So if this is a divine masculine, for instance, you know, because this is divine masculine energy, it's not about sexual gender. It's just, this is the energy, okay? Divine masculine, it is masculine energy. Very stoic, usually has his emotions under control, you know, but just barely, barely. These emotions are getting ready to freaking fly, fly out. Like this divine masculine, if he's the type of person that normally has his emotions under control, his control is slipping. That's what I'm going to say. And it is because of this energy right here. We got Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. So this would be divine feminine energy. And again, I'm going to say it's not about gender or, you know, sexual gender. Energy is fluid. But this is feminine energy, okay? Um, a feminine energy that is fiery, passionate, seductive, but also very balanced. We got fire and water here. So if this person is a fire sign, they would be very passionate about things that set them on fire, but they're also very tapped into their emotions and into their intuition. So this person would be fiery and passionate when they needed to be, but they would also be beautifully nurturing and sensitive when it came to love or when it comes to like their partner or they, they know how to soften this passionate side of them by balancing it with nurturing and kindness and all of those beautiful things that come with the queen of cups that watery sort of energy so it's fire and water your person also could be an alchemist meaning they know how to take a negative emotion and immediately transmute it into something positive but this this um masculine energy is is watching is spying um there's an energy of they, they, I don't think they necessarily feel good about whatever it is they deceived you about. Um, that's all that's coming through. I'm sorry, Capricorn. Um, this queen of cups energy, um, is very, They were going to tell me something and I lost it when I was talking about the seven of swords. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I lost it. If it was important, I guess it'll come back to me. Um, it was something about the fire and water. I can't remember now. I lost it. Okay. So uh, hopefully that message wasn't for specifically for someone, but Anyways, so yes, you're in this energy of like wanting to be alone and yet there's someone that is very much wanting you not to be alone. So I, I don't know, that's, that's all that's coming through. 
I hope this is going to make sense to someone because it makes absolutely no sense to me. That's usually the case <laughs> with my channeled messages. All right, so we're going to jump into your shadow portion to see if you have any shadows. Um, I don't even know if anything even came through for like the single cappies. So that's usually spirit will give me something for like, you know, those that are sort of involved and have someone on their mind. And then they'll give me one for like, they'll give me a section in the same spread where, you know, for like those that are completely single, but they didn't even do that this time. So it's very confusing. All right. Um, let's do the shadow portion for Capricorn. And then we will move on to the Who deck. Um, maybe some character traits. Usually I do like character traits for those that are entangled and then those that are single. But nothing really came out for either or. So we're just going to keep it neutral. Just keep general. All right. Um, three shadow cards for Capricorn. If they have any shadows, please. Thank you for allowing me to be the clear shadow for source messages. Ooh, okay, so right away we got a, a major shadow of control. It's number 53, it's a problem card. So yeah, it's a shadow. Five and three is eight. So that's gonna mean something to someone. Wow, we got control and we got holding on. When we hold on too tightly to something or someone, in your love life, it makes you very unattractive because they can feel that needy energy of don't leave me, stay here, I'm clinging, I want you to give me something. And they're going to feel this energy of you wanting to take something from them. Even if you don't want to, they're going to interpret it as this person wants me to give to them so that, that they can take something away from me. And it makes you very unattractive. So I'm just going to put that out there. Um that's this card right here and if you notice in the card this is the second card we got for your shadow um it's eight and two so it's number 10 again see this is number 10 coming up for capricorn again so 10 is the energy of like a new beginning we got a one which represents new beginnings and then we got zero which represents nothingness or a fresh start right it's zero point so it's starting again, you know, it's the loop. New timeline, new everything. But, you know, can this new beginning come in if you're holding on to this, to someone or something? And look, this divine masculine is walking out the door. There's a divine feminine that is desperately holding on to his pant leg. And it's this energy of like, please don't leave me. Please don't go. Please, please, please stay. And that is in turn turning the person that wants to be free as everyone wants to feel sovereign and free, right? This person that's wanting to walk out the door and, and undo their shackles and their chain. There's this energy of this person holding on to them, which is holding them back. And naturally, if someone's holding on to you, you're going to want to break free. You know, if a person doesn't feel free in a relationship, then they're going to want to be free of that of that person right because that person to them represents a prison so you have to remember that everyone is a free and sovereign being and you have to allow the person to feel free therefore they'll be able to love you better and more strongly if you allow them to love you while being free i hope that makes sense capricorn Okay, so the next card we got is 53, which is control. And again, look, divine masculine, and he has a divine feminine shackled, chained by her neck. Again, this energy of <laughs> you do what I say. Like, I'm trying to control you. You have to do this this way. You cannot leave. There's an energy of holding on too tight. And something needs to be, something needs to be, um, released this person feels smothered by you you know as a shadow it would mean this person would feel smothered by you so it's time to release the grip so that you know this person doesn't feel like a bird in a cage okay one second okay sorry about that capricorn um all right so where were we 
So yes, be careful not to hold on too tight. You don't want your person to feel smothered because that is a huge turnoff. It also releases this negative energy, which sort of makes you unattractive. And, you know, then your person, instead of wanting your person wanting to come closer to you, it actually makes them want to get far away from you. It's a repelling energy. So, okay. And then the last one we have is lust. It's number 71. Again, another shadow. So, oh, sorry, my nose, my allergies have been acting up today or something. I've been like itchy all over my body. It's so weird. Okay, so number 71, lust. Now, this is about putting more emphasis on the sexual side of a relationship instead of like looking at it as like this is um, a great opportunity for love. It's more like you're looking at things as an opportunity for sex or the physical side of a relationship. So be careful not to put too much emphasis on that or not enough. Okay, so a shadow can work either way. You're either putting too much emphasis on the sexual side or not enough. Okay, so I mean, it can work either way. So there's that. <laughs> and we're going to do the Who Oracle. We will do three character traits to look out for however it resonates for you, Capricorn. And then um, we'll do your spirit message and we're going to conclude this reading. So please check out my Etsy shop. It's in the description box below of my videos. Always, you just got to click the little arrow. My son's channel is linked in there too. And he's the only featured channel. So if you want to check out his channel, please do. Because he works really hard to grow his channel. And you know how it is when you guys are first starting out a YouTube channel. You know, I bust my butt to get content out. So does my son. Um, he's busy because he's a little guy and he's homeschooled. So he doesn't have as much time as me to... And I'm a busy mom of three kids, like busy single mom. So yeah, it's, whew. you know how it is. Um, what else? I made it easier for you guys to book a reading with me, Capricorn. So if you guys want to book a reading with me, um, I have my own website now and it's also in the description box below. It's www.chakramanitaro.com. Yay. <laughs> and you know, even if you are not booking a reading with me, you can still check out the my website and then you can see everything that I offer. And, you know, it's so simple to book a reading. All you got to do is hit whatever you want. There's a book number underneath it and you just hit, I mean, like book, a book number. There is a book underneath all of whatever I offer and you just hit book, the book button. And there it'll take you to the payment and you pay it and then you put on, put in all your information and then I will get back with you and we will do your reading. So it's a very simple and easy process now. So my links are still in the description box for my Patreon. So if you want to join me on Patreon, you can. And then my links are still there for my Etsy shop and also for um, my tip jar. So, all right. My spiel stuff, we're going. <laughs> all right. Can we get some character traits for Capricorn for their person? Three character traits, please. And then we're going to do the spirit message and conclude this reading, please. Source, thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for you. I love you. And I love you too, Capricorn. Okay. Ooh, we have guilty pleasures. <laughs> Take that how it resonates. Let me see. Two more, please. Guilty pleasures. So your person might like to indulge here and there. And something, I mean, whether it's food or sex or I don't know. Oof. Okay, so it looks like your person <laughs> likes to indulge in some food. <laughs> they might be a foodie, I don't know. Um, so this is, this is the, the, I cannot talk. This is the thick and juicy card, okay? Your person a little thicky. <laughs> Nothing wrong with thicky. I'm thicky. All right. So guilty pleasures. They might like to indulge in sweets or they might have a sweet tooth. That's definitely what's coming out. I mean, but they could indulge in other things. They could just be an indulgent personality. You never know. You know, indulgent personalities will indulge in certain things, whether that's, you know, pampering themselves at the spa or, you know, liking lavish, rich foods, meats, um, which, you know, of course, would cause all of this thicky, juicy, curvy sort of figure. 
Um, they might indulge in sexual things. That's not necessarily, I'm not in, I'm not in any way like encouraging that. I, I don't think that that's a good thing to do because then you share energy with other people and that's not necessarily healthy for your aura. So, and whatever energy you, you, um, engage in when you have sexual intercourse with someone that, that energy imprints into your aura. Just so you know. Okay. And then we have mysterious. So this is the energy of someone not really opening up to you um, like they so should. Maybe they like to hold back a little bit. Maybe when you ask them questions about themselves, they aren't very open about it because they like to keep, you know, some personal things to themselves. So there's that. Just some character traits to look for. They didn't really give us any physical ones other than the full back. But okay, so we're going to go on to your spirit message and then we're going to call this a reading Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, what do we got for Capricorn? A spirit message for Capricorn, please. Last card for Capricorn, please. Thank you for allowing me to be the clear channel. It was a good reading. Okay, Capricorn. Although spirit was very vague. They were as mysterious as your person, right? Seriously. Oh my God, you guys literally got the same card as Gemini. This was the same card that I just pulled for Gemini for their spirit message. So this card is about following what sets your heart on fire. Be like the fire signs. Follow your passion. Whatever it is that ignites your soul is going to lead you right to where you need to be in regards to your love life. That is how you're probably going to find your person or keep your person or whatever. Run into your person. I don't know. Follow that spark in your heart and in your soul, which says, I like doing this and do it. Okay. It's also about um, releasing your sort of um, fantasies, um, releasing that sort of sexual energy, which, you know, tends to build up in all of us, releasing it either sexually or creativity creative wise but releasing it nonetheless and it you know it's the card of also being open to new things sexually so you know if you're used to like vanilla things this is sort of like going the opposite like maybe you are always into like doing just missionary sex this would be like going into like different you know avenues of sexual um stimulation and stuff and my kids are not in here anymore so don't worry <laughs> i know they were earlier they're actually out there now. Um, so, but this is going to conclude the reading. Obviously, you know, I wouldn't say things like that around my children. Just so you know, you guys, I'm a very um, moral-minded mom, I guess. If that makes sense. Okay, Capricorn, I love you. Love you so much. Please, if you want to book a reading with me, just check out my new website. Even if you don't want to book a reading, just check out my website because I worked really hard on it. I created it myself. I literally paid money to copyright chakra bunny tarot name so it is now mine bitches okay love you bye